Hello everyone. My name is Nisengwe Nadia, Senior Trainer in Housekeeping Operation. I welcome you all in this session of today. And our lesson is going to see how to clean different public areas. And as you know, it's very important for you to take notes because you have to take all necessary points that is in this lesson of today. So welcome for the next of the lesson. As the cleaning of the public area, as you know, public area have different areas known as public areas. And we can't clean all of them at once. So in this lesson, we will see how to clean corridors, how to clean stairs, how to clean conference room, and how to clean washrooms. By now, we are going to start with corridors. And with this corridor, when you are cleaning public area, before starting cleaning, you have to identify different surfaces that are in the public area that you are supposed to clean. In this public area, we have carpets, we have painted wall, we have furniture surface, it means we need to collect all those tools and products, even equipment that goes with those surfaces. So by now we are going to start with opening the curtains or draw curtains because the curtain have to be drawn during the day. Maybe they closed it at night for us we have to open them during the day and we open it by drawing them and during the preparation you need also to check all around the public area that you are going to clean you check properly if there is nothing may be left and after you start cleaning we can't vacuum before dusting because when you are vacuuming you need to vacuum from from the far end to the exit so that the carpet can go or can follow the way of the carpet and you have to check from top to bottom if there are stain on it i can see mark here remember the inch between you and the chemical it's eight inches. We have to check also behind the window and remove the dust. After using the multi-surface, now I'm going to clean the wooden surfaces. And as you was seeing, this window have glass surfaces. But we didn't clean the glass windows because normally the windows are not cleaned on daily basis. Now we are going to, to clean the wood surface. And the wood surface that we have here is these cuttings for both sides. But for doors, doors will be cleaned by the room attendant after cleaning the guest room. So for us, we are just going to take care of these cuttings.
after dusting the scuttings, the rest now is to vacuum this carpet. This is the vacuum cleaner that we are going to use while vacuuming our carpet. And remember that we have to start from the far end to the exit while vacuuming. I'm done with the vacuuming of public of the corridor. Now the next is to clean the stairs. For the first time, I'm going to dust all these handles, stair handles. Then for the last, I will also mop, but I think I have also to dust this one. Because this is colored, is not stainless steel, I will use multipurpose. I have also to dust this light. And make sure it's free from dust. Then, for the last, I'm going to mop these stairs. Of course, I have to start from up. When you are mopping the stairs, you need to take good care of both sides of the, the steps. It means you need to mop on top, even here. Top and here. Now we are done with cleaning stairs. Also what you have to take care is about the scutting. The scuttings here at some point 
you may find dust, you need to dust, and dust with dry cloth because it's painted. When you, you, you put water here, it can damage the surface, the, the painted surface. The last comment, and very important for cleaning public area, you have to remember that the dust can't be cleaned 100% for the whole day. But what you need to know is to manage dust. It means you need to know the interval time among the, the first time you cleaned and the second one to come back just to check if nothing wrong happened. Even for the third time, you, may, you, may, you might make some, some minutes in between depending on how that space is, is always busy. If it's a busy space, probably it's a busy public area, you can make a difference of 30 minutes and after 30 minutes, you come back, you dust and you mop. If it's like, in washrooms, you can go there, you mop, or you do some important things that you found there. If it's stairways like this, like one hour, you have to pass after one hour, you check, how is it? You can't say, I mopped the stairways in the morning, I will go back tomorrow morning. No, 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 no. You have to go back after one hour and check how the ways, how the steps how the handles are looking, or if there is no other rubbish that the guests or some other person throw on the stairs. Thank you very much. Let us meet in conference hall.